must save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today as always. Hope you're all having a fantastic day wherever you guys might be. So if you guys are paying attention you might realize that this is not where we left off in the last episode and that is true. I did warp all the way up here. We were down at the Gerudo Canyon stable. We'll go back there and, and head to Gerudo Town in a little bit but I wanted to finally equip the ancient horse armor onto Cookie. And I was able to finally summon Cookie. I don't know where Cookie was the last few days. I think he was taking a vacation, but he's finally back and ready to go back to work. Refreshed, as it were. And we're going to give him a nice upgrade. Hi. Let's see what we can do for Cookie. I, am, I, I admit, I do like Cookie's mohawk. You know, that is something that is just really, really nice, but the ancient gear will allow Cookie to go even faster for longer. Ah. Yes, of course Cookie loves me. Are you crazy? Uh, let's change the bridle. Ancient bridle. Oh my goodness, Cookie. I'm so sorry. That we have to cover up your mohawk, but now you have an ancient mohawk. And maybe now that you can't see, you'll stop running off cliffs. This this is definitely for your own good, Cookie. Mm. I think that's about all we needed to do. I'm just taking a sip of my tea. Got the Earl Grey tea going on. That, that pink and white horse right there is actually really pretty. Oh, Cookie, you look really nice. Look at that. Wow, Cookie. You are so majestic. All the girl horses are going to be so in love with you. And all the boy horses are going to be so jealous. Look at that amazing armor. Hey, Beetle, what's up? Alright, so now that we have Cookie's armor fully equipped... Let's head back to the Gerudo Desert. I know that uh, we won't be able to take Cookie with us all the way into the desert because for some reason you can't bring horses into the desert. But alas, we will still we will still make progress. And uh, I think guys, once we get to the Gerudo Shrine and do that stuff, I'm probably gonna warp back to Death Mountain and start doing the Divine Beast quest for Death Mountain. I just want to be able to sell gems for a lot, and to do that we need the Divine Beast. Alright, so this is where I place this travel medallion. I know there's a shrine right there. there. The stables is right there. You can barely make it out. And there was a pathway through these mountains to the Gerudo Desert. Wait. That's just kind of creepy. But, uh... Actually, I kind of want to take these elevators. I just want to see what it's like to take one of these elevators, you know? If I don't do it now, I probably never will, so... Let's just... Let's have a little bit of fun here. I'm gonna stand on the elevator. Wow, a new item. And then I'm gonna push this thing off. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa, I bumped my head. <laughs> Now that is a fast way to get up the cliffs, don't you guys agree? Ooh, you know what else I forgot? There was a uh, Korok right on that rock or whatever, but whatever. Oh well. We'll find other Koroks. What are you doing? That's an electrical one? No 
No more electricity. A yellow Lizzle's tail. I, I thought I've already killed these before, but apparently not. All right. Um, I guess we're taking a ladder. Yeah, we just gotta climb over these cliffs. I just wanted to explore a little bit, you know. Love exploring in this game. We can take the easy route everywhere, but what's the fun in that? Oh, it's this guy. I really wanted to get his loot, so let's go get that. Money, 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 money. Okay. Where were we? I get so distracted in this game, but it's just part of the beauty of the game, you know what I mean? Probably would have been smart for me to wear, like, some armor that actually lowers my, uh, or raises my heat resistance. The Goron armor is not quite the same. It, it raises your flame resistance. But heat resistance is quite a different thing. You actually need, like, less armor. So that you can actually not, you know, like, roast or sweat to death. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. Bunch of random crates around here. straight down. Ow! That was a rude thing to do. Ooh, he was guarding some good ore over here. Alright, gonna use my great flame blade to get the ore, no big deal. Alright, here we go guys. We are finally in the Gerudo Desert. We did not enter it the uh, normal way, but that's alright. We're gonna go over to the actual normal entrance, which is right over here, I think. Yeah. It's basically right in here. This is the uh, typical entrance that people come into the desert. So I, I should probably equip an ice blade. Uh, that will keep me cool. And uh, other than that, I think we're ready to go. I could heal up a little bit if I wanted. This will uh, grant low level heat resistance. So let's go, go ahead and eat that. Here we go, Gerudo Desert Gateway. Our first footsteps into the Gerudo Desert. There is actually a road right here, which allows you to walk full speed, but if you go into the sand, it's basically like going into the snow, and you have a uh, slower rate at which you could walk, so. It's actually almost easier to see the path if you look at the mini-map than it is if you're looking on the actual ground. Link, you don't look so good, man. You're looking kind of like you're sweating. Is that an optical illusion, or are you actually a real person? Savak. Dang, look at those thighs! Those are thunder thighs. Savak! Mm? If you're researching Kalisa, legendary treasure hunter, then your search is over. You're looking at her. I've been in the mm. game for over 20 years. When I set my sights on a treasure, you can be sure that I'll claim it. Alright, good luck. Uh-oh.
We didn't even get to the city this time and already it's angry. Look at that. Big purple blue feet. Dang, that thing is crazy looking. It has the power of lightning. Can't wait to actually get those divine beasts, but let's go talk to this person over here. I think there's actually a couple quests, some things we can do over here. We can shop and whatnot. The Kara Kara Kabazar! <laughs> Savak. This is Kara Kara Bazaar. Grew to town, still a fair distance southwest of here. If you're headed there, you should consider resting a bit. Though you are a Vo, even if you make it to town, you won't be able to get in. All the same, the Divine Beast is kicking up a storm right now, so I don't recommend going to Gerudo Town. Okay, ah. thank you. Yeah, they don't let boys go into... Oh! Memory, guys! We got a memory! <laughs> Beetle's just chilling. Beetle, I just saw you at the Highland Stable, like, 300 miles to the northeast. Man, you get around fast. Even faster than Link. I love memories. Let's see if Princess Zelda is still mad at me. The memories are actually all mixed up in the timeline, so... The Yiga Clan! Oh, come on, stand up. Come on, Link! Oh, yeah, boy. <sighs> You're not yelling at Link anymore, are you, princess? She's like, yeah, that's right. That's my boyfriend. He's going to kick your guys' butts. <laughs> Beetle, what are you doing? <laughs> Look at Beetle. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> oh, Beetle, what are you doing here? Who? we meet again. The heat is about to kill me, but I'm still going to close the deal. Sasa. <laughs> um, yeah, let me buy all of your arrows. Wow. You should just really consider stocking all arrows, Beetle, because I would really keep you in business and make you rich. Uh, yeah, that's about all I wanted. <laughs> now I got 139. Whoa, he hopped up quick. Oh, let's see. Is there a chest? Of course there is. Haven't used cryo... Cry okay. Okay. That's one thing I really don't like about this game. Every time you jump towards one of these, it's just like it breaks it. You are out of your element as well. Maybe he's just on a vacation. Seems like a common thing where the uh, Rido males like to get away from their children and wives. And a Goron over here as well. Alright, Silver Rupee, I'll take it. Nothing else, nothing else. Let's go see if the Goron has anything to say. Just making sure these guys don't have any quests or something. Nice hardy lizard. He does have a quest. Hi. It's His name is Guy. Hello there. But before I say any more, have we met before? I came here from Rito Village. Uh. Yes, Rito Village. Far to the north of here. It's a modest village. Yeah, yeah, I know. I left Rito to try to earn some money out in the world. It's so incredibly hot here during the day. It's been tough to work up the will to go any further. Link is literally dripping with sweat. 
It's actually water, but it looks like sweat. I would like to see what Gruder Town looks like, even if I can't go inside. It's just so hot. I heard there's an elixir that help can help beat the heat. It's made from insects with cooling effects and monster parts. Uh. Hmm. An ice guy. What's in here? Just a random sword out there. Vasak. What do you got oh. for sale? Arrows? Perfect. Vo aren't allowed in Gerudo Town. Hmm? You won't even oh. sell to me? Oh, they're on the counter to my left. Wow, I didn't even notice. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm? No, 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 I'm good, oh. I'm good. You only sell one arrow. One arrow. Oh. You sell one arrow at a time. Wow. You really don't stock much inventory, do you? Alright. I think uh, we should just continue on towards Gerudo Town now. Wait a minute. Yeah. Mm. Oh. I'm a merchant, oh. like you. We wanted to make to Gerudo Town to sell our goods, but we were stopped before we could go in. They only let women. Yes, I've heard. Mm. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's keep going towards Gerudo Town, guys. It's gonna take a bit to get there, but that's all right. Actually, uh, let's set my travel gate here because I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to come back to the uh, bazaar. I'm super quiet. You can't even hear me walking. Time to run fast. This is like the infinite run glitch, so that's why it keeps on spamming Cookie as I'm coming. I basically hold the button down to summon Cookie, and, and then I'm spamming the run button as well. And it allows me to go, 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 go. Alright, it looks like we have a little encampment right here. We could probably fight these guys if we want. What is Volt Fruit? Resistance to electricity? Uh, let's see. Probably gonna change up my armor. Let's just put on the heavy armor. Oh, hi. Come on. Die. Ooh, we got a few more guys in here. His head moved. That's so creepy. Roasted hydro melon. Okay. I'm just here for the loot. And it does look like there's a couple chests. What if I put the chest way up high to land right on his head? Dang it. Good way to pause time. Too easy.
Hey, dummy. <laughs> he went flying so far. Oh my gosh. Hey, no tail whipping. No tail whipping. Gosh dang it. This thing is so slow. You're floating in midair. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you, too. Get wrecked. I know it's a bit, a bit wasteful to just be using this uh, awesome weapon all the time, but hey, if you never use it, you never use it. You know what I mean? I want to actually use it. All right, we're pretty close. We're pretty close. Let's uh, make the last little journey here. There's another lizard up there, I see. Maybe I can sneak up on this one. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I see what you guys want to do. You want to play like this. That's fine. Uh, let's just heal up. You might as well. What's something I could just eat that... Alright. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, my, my sword actually did break. Alright. How do you guys like being thundered? He's dead. Wanna try the master sword, huh? Huh? Don't mind me, lady. Just clearing out the uh, trash. Dang, I tried to parry. Finally he died. What, I'm cold now? I forget the desert's like hot then cold, then hot and then cold. Alright guys, we finally made it. The last great town. In the game, we'll have shrines completed in all four towns. The the Rito, the Goron, the Gerudo, and the Zora. Dako Chise Shrine. I'm assuming this is going to be a tough shrine because the shrines that are outside major cities are usually a little bit more challenging, I think. Maybe not. We'll see. I don't really count Kakariko and Hateno and Luralin and all those small little towns. Alright, here we go guys. The last major city shrine. The whole picture. I think I remember this one as really fun. Yeah, I do. So, do you see the little circuits on the ground? I love this. This is like a motherboard on a computer. So we're just going to connect the circuits to create pathways of electricity. There's lots of different metal objects we can, we can use to do this. So the first thing we want to do is unlock this one. Which... 
We're gonna need at least one more object to do that. I'm pretty sure you can literally drop like a metal sword on the ground and it will it will also serve the purpose. I just don't think it's quite long enough. There is maybe another thing I can pick up. No, just those two. Alright. Well, I know that, that we could do this a different way, but... You can, you can use the weapon, and it is pretty cool. There, we're kind of using the sword. <laughs> now that we have that one, we can, we can get this last one. Actually, I think we might need, we might need to open this one to get the last. All right, well, let's see. I do want to get the chest. Let's see, let's put this one over here. Okay, I need to put the uh, the barrel. Ow! Oh my goodness, I am getting shocked like crazy. I didn't even realize it. There we go. And we can actually use this metal chest as a conductor as well. well let's see what we got. Then we got us an amber. Ooh! Even better. All right, now let's put all these things over there because we're gonna need them. Let's chuck this over here real quick. I have my uh, turn sensitivity all the way as high as it goes, and it still turns so slow, I feel like. All right, now what are we doing over here? So, let's just connect the dots. One right here. One right here. I can't really see what's going on. Put that right in there. And one right there. Beautiful. Last but not least, we have to get both of the big blocks into these corners. Like so. Then we're done. Easy shrine. Take a sip of my tea. Mm. So we did everything that I set out to do in this video. We don't have enough time to really start the Divine Beast on the next, uh, in the Goron City, but Let's at least start the uh, quest here to get into Gerudo Town because I know there's a little side quest to do that. I think we have to disguise ourselves as a woman. I got two spirit orbs. I need two more. Get another stamina. Alright. Let's not freeze to death here. Oh. What's the deal? Oh, I was so focused right now. Do you have any business with me? Are you spying? What? No, I'm not a spy. I'm a merchant. I may not look like it, but I'm actually the leader of a caravan. I've traveled all the way here, but this town doesn't allow men to go in. So that's why I had to, um... Are you spying? It's research! Research! And think what you want, but I finally found some key info on how to sneak into Gerudo Town. Oh. What info? Hehe, <laughs> well, allow me to share with you my heroic tale! It's been close to a week now. The guards have kicked me out more times than I can count. I almost gave up hope. However, I have learned only recently of a man that slipped into this well-guarded town. I heard that man is frequently traveling between Karkar Bazaar and Gerudo Town. I've been waiting here, trying to spot him as he travels.
just to show you guys what happens if you try to actually go in here. Let's uh, just equip some different armor right now. What's up, guys? I am the legendary Link, hero of time, savior of this world. Please allow me to speak to your leader. What? Huh? Freeze! Where do you think you're going? Hmm. Not into town, that's for sure. No vote allowed. Off of you. But I'm but I'm trying to save the world. I I'll, I'm trying to help you. <laughs> All right, whatever. So that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Um, I can really quickly teleport back to Car Car Bazaar because. I'm pretty sure that's where the dude is that uh, I need to get the clothes from so that I can sneak into Gerudo Town. We could do that really quick, I guess. But I'm not going to do Gerudo Town first. I'm going to do the Goron uh, Divine Beast first, like I said. I'm, I'm, it's funny because I always do the Goron one last. And this time I'm doing it first. So I think he's on top of this rock thing. If he's not up here, then maybe a Korok seed at the very least, but I'm pretty sure he's, he, he's either up here or some other tower. Yep. Hi. Oh my, what a lovely young lad you are. Do you need something from me? Mm -hmm. What's that? You heard about a man who snuck into Gerudo oh. Town? Oh, I don't know anything about him. Sorry, I couldn't be more help. <laughs> Study her face, squint suspiciously. Mm. Hey, hey, you're making my cheeks warm looking at me like that. You're very beautiful. Oh. oh, such a nice thing to say. And I'm sure you'd agree that these clothes only help my looks, right? Now that I think about it, this style would look quite fetching on you. I'd have to change you, charge you, of course, but I bet people would see you completely differently if you wore them. What do you think? Do you want to buy them for 600 rupees? Yes. Mm. It's a deal then. I'll take your rupees now. Oh. Hey, <laughs> I have the perfect outfit for you. Go ahead and change into it right now. Don't worry, I'll look away. <laughs> this is supposed to be Link as a girl. You look adorable. Mm. Aww, he, 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 just as I thought. You make for quite a good looking girl. That's a traditional Gerudo outfit. It's such a striking look around here. I doubt anyone would even suspect that you're a man. On top of that, it breathes so well that it's sure to help you deal with the desert heat. At least a little. Mm. I'm so glad I was able to help you mm -hmm. out. If you're free to grab something to eat sometime, keep in mind... Heh, <sighs> 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 make sure you watch out for the wind. <laughs> if you want to get more ladies clothing, come back anytime. Alright, well, 600 rupees is actually a bargain to get a complete set of armor. Check that out, and if I wear the whole set, it actually does give me heat resistance. Just a, just a little bit. So anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. As always, this is Lucian Sword. Be sure to drop a like if you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next video, guys. Take it easy.